Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and part part 8 of Elastic Search. In, in this session, I'll, I'll be talking about the type, type of aggregation in, in Elastic Search. In the previous session, I have covered the brief introduction of ag aggregation in Elastic Search. Guys, if you have watched, watched the introduction of uh, aggregation, then please go ahead and watch my previous session on aggregation. So let's proceed with today's session. This part I have already covered in previous session. I have compared the Elasticsearch aggregation with the group by query in SQL. So now in today's session, I'll be covering the type of types of aggregations. Now we have basically the four type of aggregation: matrix, bucket, pipeline, matrix. Now what is matrix aggregation? The aggregation that keeps track and compute matrix uh, over a set of documents. So guys, uh, what kind of aggregation is this? The, it it uh, extracts some value in different ways. And the, the, the value are typically extracted from the field of a document, but can be also generated using the script. So this aggregation also uses script while extracting the value. So uh, these aggregation are, uh, you know, it, it, fills, it, it is falling into two type, into two category. This is also called numeric matrix aggregation. These are special type of matrix aggregation which output numeric value. So basically, these aggregation will work on only the numeric value field. Some aggregation output a single numeric matrix that is called single valued and some uh, you know it generate multiple uh, multiple value which which uh, which is called multi multi valued aggregation so these are the two types so i'll be taking the first type in today's session that is the average uh, the average type of uh, matrix aggregation falls into the single valued so before proceeding to this matrix aggregation, let's cover these three as well. The basic definition. Now, what is bucket aggregation? Bucket aggregation is uh, it's it's a simple aggregation that don't calculate matrix over field like a matrix aggregation do, but instead they create bucket of documents. So what is uh, what happens uh, in my previous session? I have uh, I have created one query of the aggregation. Uh, in which I have used I have used the bucket aggregation. Yeah, these aggregation determines whether or not a document uh, it falls into some criteria. It uh, you know it it should it should follows it it should associated with some criteria and it should have some key. So the key and criteria are the basic things uh, which comes under the bucket. So let's uh, read out this definition. A family of aggregation that builds bucket where each bucket is associated with a key and a document criteria. Bucket aggregation also holds sub aggregation. In my previous session, I have uh, covered one nested aggregation type of query. Let me show you that as well so that it will be easier for you to understand. See, this query I have covered in my previous session where I have nested one aggregation inside the other. So this, this aggregation is nested inside this aggregation. So this, this can be only possible in a bucket aggregation. See, this is a bucket aggregation. The type of aggregation terms is a bucket aggregation and the average is a matrix aggregation which is falling under the bucket aggregation. So inside the bucket aggregation, we can have nested aggregation. Now let's go and read it out. So there are different bu bucket aggregators, each with a different bucketing strategy, uh, strategies like the term aggregation, which I have covered. It takes the value like uh, any terms and it, it defines the criteria of the terms means if the field is matching the term it will give me the result inside that bucket so that's what happened in the bucket aggregation and some define uh, define a single bucket some define fixed number of multiple bucket some aggregator uh, defines you know dynamically they create bucket during the aggregation process so i'll be covering the bucket aggregation after covering all the aggregation which comes under the matrix so i'll be taking uh, this one after the metric aggregation. Now, what is pipeline aggregation? 
pipeline aggregation works on the output produced from uh, other aggregations rather than from document itself it does not work on the document set and it add it keeps on adding information to the output trees means whatever uh, information i am getting from one aggregation maybe the matrix or maybe the bucket it works on that aggregation so kind of uh, th there are many different type of pipeline aggregation and uh, which are computing different information from other aggregation and th these type can be broken down into like two families it has two family the pipeline aggregation is two family that is parent and sibling so while i will be covering the pipeline aggregation i'll be uh, giving you giving you a you know depth knowledge of the pipeline aggregation the matrix ag aggregation i have kept it empty why because the matrix aggregation may be removed in the future or it has not been you know developed yet so it is very much similar to the matrix aggregation this one but it does not support scripting part so there is no use of the matrix aggregation matrix aggregation as far as i know so maybe uh, the elastic search these uh, they may remove this matrix aggregation that's why i am not covering uh, this part now i'll be covering only three aggregation let's proceed with the matrix aggregation the average aggregation i'll be taking only in this session so the next aggregation of matrix i'll be taking you know in, in my further session so what is average average aggregation so guys average aggregation is nothing but a single value matrix aggregation because average what it is you know easily understandable like while we are uh, we have a number of uh, you know marks we calculate the average and we'll get only the single value so by the name itself we can say it's a single value matrix aggregation and uh, which extracted from the aggregated document and these value are ex uh, can be extracted either with a you know specific numeric field on the document or it can be generated by providing the script so that's why i have uh, defined here the average which i'll be using simple using the uh, by simply using the average and i'll be defining the field i guess i've in previous session i have covered this average aggregation i'll show you once again and the script is simply writing a script and calculating the average value that's it so let's go and see on the kibana how it works so in the previous session you have seen like i have calculated the average age and i'll be like nested uh, i'll be nesting it into the agenda so i'll be calculating uh, in the previous session this i i have calculated the average age of the uh person or like average age by gender like male and female you can see over here the average age of uh, male is 35 the average age of female is 29 now see how the average aggregation or a metric aggregation it works simply you have to give the aggregation with the aggregation name Ag aggregation name could be anything you want it depends on you here you have to define the type of aggregation and the type of aggregation on what field you want to apply this aggregation so here i have i have only one field in my uh, in my mapping which is numeric so i have been using that field only you can use it in your, uh, on on the basis of your requirement so that's what i'm getting i'm getting a single value that is 30 30.3 is the average age of all the employee in my employee details index now this is a one part that is this thing uh, i have covered this one is simple now the script and value script what is script script is only but simply writing a script i guess uh, i have already in the query dsl part i have covered this script uh, writing or I, if i haven't covered the, yeah i haven't covered this script uh, you know in deep dive but i'll be taking one session on the script writing how to write script if you need because i don't think uh, i'm assuming that you are you guys are very familiar with this script writing now let's see how the script work script i have to give the source source is nothing but document inside this is uh, my mapping if i have not shown you the mapping part i'll just simply showing you employee detail its details slash underscore mapping No, this is the doc. Inside the doc, I have a age. 
h so doc inside the doc i have a h and i have to calculate the value of the a, uh, value uh, of the h yeah and what how uh, what way i have to uh, i should get a result the average of these so very you know it's very simple to understand the script writing so this is an example of inline scripting so what it covers it's a painless it's uh, by default it use a painless language with uh, the inline script how i have identified it as a inline script guys there are two type of script one is inline script where we use source and another is stored script where we use id so this is how the result will get same way like this one but simply i'm writing one script for this now the next thing this is the inline scripting now the stored scripting stored scripting is nothing but i'm using some id that's it so uh, if you are not familiar with the stored scripting let me tell you what is that in the stored scripting we create a script and we create a script and we post uh, our query on that script by just simply modifying something so how to create the um, how to create the stored script i have just give i'm just giving you a brief intro because uh, i assume that you guys are aware of, uh, about the stored scripting just giving you a, a brief intro of this so here i have created one stored script where what i'm doing i'm suppose in on the basis of your requirement here i'm just adding some something which is like uh, you know a 5 a uh, numeric value with my average that's it this is my uh, you know my um, logic logic inside that script so how to create a stored script simply underscore scripts my script is the name of the script script language is painless and the source what i am doing inside the app, uh, this h i am plus i am you know uh, adding some some field or uh, some uh, data that is that is inside the params dot age so i have created it we can also delete the script this is the command to delete a script that's all so this script has been created now what will happen if i run this command what will happen see before you have seen like my average age was 30.3 i have i'm simply adding 5 to that 30.3 so what is the application of this uh, so the application is suppose at the, the state level exam some some uh, in some questions the discrepancy you know it happened sometime it happens right so in that in that scenario we can correct we need to correct uh, you know the grades the percentage percentage of all the student so lakhs of students are taking the exam so simply what we can do we can write a script and run this simply by adding into uh, into the average of that marks or by subtracting or by multiplying simply by giving over here the operation that's it we have another script called value script now you might be confusing see the value script is looking like some correction is going to be happen and the same way which i which i have given you the explanation in this stored script so what hap what is the difference between the value script and uh, the stored script the stored script is generally we use where we have to use the same script n number of time in in our application uh, where we use that, uh, there only we use the stored script and the value the value script is the best uh, you know it it will be best it will be fitting into my uh, you know my which uh, the example i have given the marks one it uh, it will uh, fit the in the best way so what will happen the same way which i have told you the age some ha something happened or the age i am just doing uh, the value inside the underscore value that this value is nothing but the age and multiplying it with this correction what i am doing i am simply changing the average of this person that's it percentile this percentage of uh, sorry this average of the age so this is the two way to use the same script like the value script and the stored script stored script we are writing some logic in the value script also we are writing some logic but in stored script we are storing the script we are using another place in our application the value script and running at once it's not getting stored it is running for one simple uh, 
place where where you are using this uh, this value script that's it that's the only difference that's it now all are uh, this both will be same most probably most of the time not most probably sorry now are uh, the last but not the least we have something called uh, not in the script we have something called missing what if the age is not defined uh, for some people now by default suppose i want to um, i want to give those column with not null but with like 10 or 1 as a value so what will happen in those column where the uh, age is not defined that column will be filled with 1 so the missing parameter defines how a document that are missing a value should be treated that's all by default uh, they will be ignored by default but it is possible to treat them as if they had a value so this way we can treat them as if they have value so that's all for today's session hope uh, you like the session if you have liked the session please plus thumbs up if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and if you have any question post your question in the comment section thank you for watching